Kenneth is the first time caller out of California. Kenneth, thank you for calling. Thanks for holding you on the air. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? All is well, Kenneth. How are you? I'm good, Jesse. No I've man is good. For a while now. I'm sorry? I said I've been listening to you for a while now, and uh, there's a lot of things that I can say I agree with you. Yes. And then there's some things that I can't. Give me one thing that you don't agree with. The wall. That's one thing I don't agree with. Are you black? No, I'm not black. I'm uh, I'm his, I'm Hispanic. Why don't you agree, Why don't you agree with the wall, Kenneth? I mean, I agree that we need more security, but I don't feel like a wall is gonna is gonna actually fix anything. I what? feel maybe we can focus more on money, on a whole lot more security, on maybe fixing some corruption that I feel is in the border patrol agency. Yes, and maybe all of that. We need we need that money. How much do you think that wall is gonna cost? That's the, like, honestly, we, we need that money in the United States to stay with us. It is, do we need you, to help let me, our people. We, do you believe that it's cheaper to build a wall or it's cheaper to take care of all the illegals who are coming in? I don't think, and that's another thing, I don't think we should take care of the illegals. I feel like in some, in some instances, for example, like when there's, there's a lot of criminals that are locked up that are illegal and they have a criminal record, then I feel like those people should definitely be sent back. We don't need any more of those. Is now, it, in cases of maybe illegal immigrants coming over here and already been here for a while, but they're, like, contributing to the society and already have kids and taking care of them, then I would say we can be more lenient on those people if we see that they're actually contributing. So what I hear society. you saying is that if someone break into your house and rob and steal and kill... And then they decide, oh, let me start cleaning up Kenneth's house and his yard. Let me paint his house. And you caught them, you would be more lenient on them because they start cleaning up for you? See, but that, that, I see where you're coming from, but that analogy is a little too too narrow for me. I mean, we're, we live in a big state where people come in and make their own houses or, or live here and work to get their own house. So, so what you're saying is that... You if, uh, the, if these people are breaking the law to come into our country, and once they come in, because they've been nice, we should reward the criminal? I wouldn't say, okay, see, this because this is what I'm saying. My, my parents. How about, are you saying that, though? Uh, well, in a sense, in a way, I can agree with that, but it's because my parents, they came illegally. Early in the 80s. They came and illegally? They huh? You say yeah, your parents... No, they're, they're not illegal anymore, but when they first came, they came illegally. Amazing. And, but that was in the early 80s. So I don't know what happened, but the government was able to give a lot of illegal people uh, citizenship. So my parents are now both citizens. Yeah. And then my mom brought her mom over and brought my aunts over legally. They came illegally, but then they brought my family legally uh, after like being able to get their citizenship. Amazing. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what law that was. In the early that was days, amnesty. The uh, they right, gave amnesty. amnesty. There you go. Yeah, they gave amnesty. Yeah, so, they, so she was able to become a, a, a legal citizen. She's been that for like more than 20 years now. And she was able to bring my, my other family members legally. So that's what I'm saying. Criminals, they need to go back. I don't care what it is. They came here illegally. But if I'm saying if people have been here for, for a while, I mean, can't you agree to, like that in a sense? If people are just like, for, like in Arizona when a man is, in, is taking his daughter to school and he gets uh, profiled, gets pulled over and gets taken away while his daughter is in the car and she's screaming for her father. And then he gets sent away after being in this country for maybe like 12 years. I mean, I, in, in most cases, I feel there should be a little bit of more maneuvering when this person doesn't have any, well, the only criminal, the only criminal thing that he did was come here illegally. <laughs> that's all it that's takes. That's where my, my moral, like my moral compass is kind of like, we need to be a little bit more. We have to figure out ways to help these people. And then if they got to go back, so be it. But I just feel I, it's something in me that doesn't feel the wall is going to help. Maybe, so I, I want to ask you about the wall, but let me ask you about the situation where the illegal alien man came 
in Arizona, and he stayed. He had a baby. He and his girlfriend or wife had a baby. Now this guy finally get caught and get and sent back home, and the baby is crying. Who fault is it that he's have to be sent to be? He have to be sent back home. His fault or American fault? Yeah, hey, uh, it's definitely his fault. And but so, who fault like is that. it that the little girl is crying? His fault, or the fact that he broke the law to come here? He finally got caught, and now he got to go. Whose fault is it? I, I know what you. I know what you're getting at, and it is definitely actions that take place over time, and then the responsibilities and the consequences come back and bite you. That's right. Get it. And why does and he take it. his little girl with him? If he loves his little girl and he got to go back home to his country, just take her with him. In, in a lot of situations, in a lot of people's countries, they don't make the opportunities that you have here. But, like but countries, whose fault know, is that? Right. We Shouldn't they make their own opportunity once they uh, uh, get back home? They can make the government do what it needs to do. That's not a reason to break into our country. There's a lot of corruption in other governments that that if you speak out against a certain government, they'll kill you. But if they they'll stand up, up, I know, but if the people stand and stand and stand and stand, eventually the corruption would disappear and the people will control. Yeah, maybe so. But look, I've been listening to you a lot, and like I said, a lot of things— Nowadays, like I've been leaning more towards conservative. I'm I'm 30. When I was growing up in my early 20s, I, I went to to college for two years and got my AA. And like I was leaning towards feminism. You know, I felt like women <laughs> needed equal rights. But then, but then as I grow older, Beta! as I start, <laughs> as I start seeing the the extremity of like feminism, you I start realizing like yo, we've been lied to. Not just yes. not just women but men. Feminism yes. is definitely a cancer in a society. Yes. And then and listening to you kind of puts all that into perspective. But like I said, there's also a lot of things where I feel maybe you're just too too blunt. Or like your your truth needs to be heard, but it it offends some people because we are living in a liberal state where we don't want to be too offended. But I'm 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 starting to break out of that shell. Right on. I'm like, where where it yo I need the truth hurt. That's right. So I gotta I gotta run with it. And then, and then there are in another instances where I don't agree with you, where you say moral character for the black man. But I feel like there's a lot of moral character in all people that need to be that need to be uh, addressed. You know? I absolutely I agree to that. That's why we our organization is open up to all pe- all men. And we help women, too, but it's open up to all men because these principles are principles from God. And if we don't have them, you suffer. It's just that the black people are on the totem pole, and most of them are refusing to see that they are wrong. They want to blame everybody else and their mama, right? And so um, that's why I mention them a lot because the men are like women. The women are gone crazy and Nobody would really tell them the truth about how how to overcome. So you're just giving them tough love is what it is. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, man. I hear you. And sometimes when I speak out on what you say to my, like, liberal friends, yeah. they look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> so, so it's kind of tough, but, like, explaining them to them. Even, even some of them are even atheists. They're not, because I was born in a Christian household. Yeah. You know, as I grew up, as I grew up, I'm Kenneth, still, I, I hold on, Kenneth, do not hang up. Hold on for me. Hold on. So, Kenneth, um, I'm happy, man, that you start speaking up, especially at such an early age. It's going to be amazing. Life will be, just don't hate, but speak up. Do not give in to the lie or it will destroy you. Kenneth? Yeah. That yeah. makes sense? Are you still living at home? No, I have a little apartment with my girlfriend. Beta! <laughs> Why do you say that? Why? Wow. So you're living with your girlfriend? Well, yeah, she lives with me. I have, I've had an apartment, and uh, we've been in a long-term relationship, and she decided to move in with me. How long-term? Long-term is going on three years. Why have you married her already? Damn, Jesse. 
That's a good question. <laughs> Man, and uh, it's it's a lot of things. You know, it's uh, it's it's a lot of things that I feel like I have internally that I'm still fighting. And she's a she's a she's a she's American. She's a white girl. Of course. And I'm, and I'm super. Yeah, and I'm super. Uh, you know, I'm I'm Hispanic, and I enjoy her company and stuff. But sometimes I see myself like, is this who I want to marry? I don't know. She's a very nice girl. Gives me everything, and maybe in the future, but I, I'm still debating. I don't know if I want to get married. But that's what white girls do. They buy color with guys. They what? They pay for you to, in order for you to stay with them. They pay me? Well, she, don't, she doesn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you, do you realize that you are a son of God? I do. I do, and do you, realize that. And do you realize you have a responsibility to lead women in the right way to go? And that's the, I'm trying to do that to the best of my ability. But if you're doing it to the best of your ability, why are you living with her or letting her live with you and have sex with you before marriage? Your responsibility is to do it the right way so that she can see the right way to go. But right now... Because you're doing it the wrong way, she can't see the right way to go, and you can't see the right way to go. In order to have a good outcome, you have to do it the right way. You have to be right, and you have to do right. And she's going to hate you. She already hates you but because she's, you're giving into the sex stuff, and she's controlling you. But she's going to hate you even more. So when you try to correct her, she's not going to accept it. Because I'm having sex with her? Before marriage, yes. You're not doing it the right way. You shouldn't be living with her and having sex with her before marriage You should, because you are the son of God and you're supposed to be doing it the right way. And I hear you. And I now, mean, I'm definitely trying to go back to, to that sense of, but it, I don't know. The, I'm, I'm living in the fallen state, you know what I mean? You are. And I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, it's, it's tough. And what's tough about it? It's because growing up, you know, you want to be this kind of alpha male. People want to act like, oh, yeah, I've had sex with this, this, and girl. And if you say, oh, I'm going to wait. And then at the young age, everybody's so impressionable. You know what I mean? Yes, like, I'm not going right. to wait for marriage. I want to have sex now. And so I'm already, I've already started that. So I keep going in that cycle. And I get what you mean. Hearing you and stuff and going back to God and the principles of what the Christian faith is based on, I definitely have that conversation with myself, but I'm, I'm like, man, I'm already having sex, whatever. So that, no, That's no reason to stay in it because we all, at one point, I was in that fallen state, and I love sex, too, at the time. I was a sex addict, as you are, right? And women are sex dealers, yeah. right? And so, but right. I realized, when I realized it was wrong and that it was, was going to end up destroying my life to live in a wrong way, I repent. I asked God to forgive me, and I forgave my mother and father, and my life changed. I, you don't have to stay there just because you're in that. So you say, so if I want to stay with her, I got to stop having sex with her, get married? No, you got to put her out and, and date uh, her for, uh, a, for a year or two with no sex, so you get to know her. And you got to find out that she really doesn't like you, and you don't like her. God damn, like that? Wow. <laughs> um. Because it's just that you're emotionally addicted. It's like any addict. The sex dealer control you by cons constantly giving you free drugs or drugs so they can keep you and keep control of you. So all she's doing is giving you what your ego needs so she can control you. So you're telling me put her out, date her for a year, and then see if I want to get married. That's yes. Absolutely. I don't know if she's gonna go. For, I don't know. I don't think she's gonna go for that. Beta is not up to her. You're the head. Right. I uh, I definitely take that into consideration. You know, I'm 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 really in, I've been listening to you. I'm really interested in going to that men's conference. Oh, good. Really resonate to the things that you're saying. Yeah, come on down. Yeah. But let me tell you this. And the reason she's not gonna fall for it because she loved the control that she has over you, and she's not gonna want to let you go free. Any, a drug dealer doesn't want the the addict to go free. And so she's not going to want you to go free, and that's why she's going to have a fit about it. That makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense because she does try to tell me what to do, but we always get a little pissed because I don't let myself 
be controlled. I already tell her. But she, she's controlling you. When she give you sex out of wedlock, she has control over you. She yeah. know how to make you feel. Uh, she know how to make you feel good, and she knows how to make you angry. She has control over you. You're not in control of anything at this point. I gotta, I gotta think about that one for a little bit. To let that one sink in. Cause, Are you able to tell her to get her own place? And you got a date. I'm not telling you to break up with her. I'm just telling you to do it the right way for your soul's sake, for her sake, and if you should have children. Because your kids are going to suffer if you continue to do it the wrong way. It, it might be a little tough telling her to move out. Why? We have been living together for about, like, uh, almost two years. It's been a year and a half. Do you think so. it's wrong or right to do it that way? It's wrong or right. I think it'll be better if I do do it that way because, like you said, maybe without sex, we could see if we're compatible without that intimacy, that I, without that physical intimacy. So is it wrong so, or right to have sex and, and or live with a woman before marriage? Is it wrong or is it right? It's, uh, it's wrong. It's wrong. And now that you see, yeah, and you know the truth, the truth is in you. And now that you know that you have accepted that you realize that it's wrong, why not do the right thing so that life can get better for you? It's going to be amazing if you do the right thing. Why not do the right thing now that you know it's wrong? Because it's hard when when, uh, she's living with you and then you got to sit her down (laughs) and tell her these things and then she's going to cry in your face and maybe just end up. Leaving you. I know, I get what you're saying, so I just got to build up the strength to really, to really go, go through with it. That's the only thing. But you're not going to be, be a little tough. you're not going to build up the strength by thinking about doing it. You build strength by doing it. Yeah, it's just easier to say, Jesse. <laughs> Especially because. Beta! Uh, a, <laughs> <laughs> and see, you know what? It's funny, too, because uh, I've, I've had to listen to you. I've had to, um. I've had her listen to to your show and stuff. Yes, and she's she's always yelling beta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, how does so I it? Gotta, f- I got I got to I got to really take that into consideration and and uh and, and talk to her about this conversation. Be like, hey, you know what? Maybe uh, if we want to make this work, you got to move out. It's not going to work any other way but the right way. It's not going to work the way you're doing it. You can bank on that. That I'll bank on that. If you think bank, so, you think it won't work in the long run? Not if you're doing it the wrong way. It's not going to work in the long run. Just like it's not it's working job. now. It's really not working now. It's just that you're too weak to admit it. What do you mean it's not? It's not. It's, it's, we're pretty. We're pretty good. No, you're being controlled. That's not working. A man is not supposed to be controlled by a woman. I don't, I don't feel like I'm being controlled. Look, you're like afraid right now to do the right thing. You're afraid of her reaction and doing the right thing. You're being controlled. If you weren't controlled, you wouldn't have the fear of doing it right. Well, you got a good point there. <laughs> How does it feel knowing that you are afraid to go to her and do the right thing? What are you feeling like right now? Do you feel like a beta or an alpha? No, I feel confused. I feel, no, well, not confused because I know what I got to do, but it's just hard because if I do it, she's not going to be, she's not going to like it. But why do you but care feel, what she like if you're doing the right thing? Who are you trying to please? Who, who are you okay, love? I get what you're saying. But how does she, she's been living with me for like a year and a half. So if I come at her like, uh, hey, uh, I want to I wanna make this work and not have sex, but you got to move out. She's going to look at me like I'm crazy, like I'm having sex with somebody else or something. But she's doing that just to control you. What's wrong with you going to her and say, you know what, I realize I've been doing this the wrong way. I apologize for making a a slut out of you, and we're going to have to, um, you're going to have to move out. I have to find a place or whatever it takes, but you got to move out. We're going to date for a year without sex and see what happens. What's wrong with that? It's not wrong with that, but it's just gonna be tough. I'm a, I'm a. You a beta? I'm gonna have this talk with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have this talk with it. Look, I definitely see where you're coming from, and maybe that confusion does. It's not an alpha male trait. 
So if I want to be alpha, then I guess if you are, I do believe in God, and I and I want to I want to I want to live that righteous path. You know what I mean? Especially you, living in this type of world and seeing everything that it is, I want to do the things right way. That's right. I know it's gonna be hard, so I just gotta I gotta do it. But don't even assume that it's gonna be hard. Wait and see. You see now that it's wrong to be living with this woman, not married to her, having sex with her. She's controlling you, so she has no one to look up to, and she's lost because you're lost. And, and you say you want to be with her because you don't love her at this point, but you want to be with her. Why not do it the right way? It's okay. I understand we all start out wrong, but the moment we realize we're wrong, why not straight away go and do it the right way? The sooner you do it the right way, the better. The sooner life will get better for you. It's not going to get better going down the, the wide road that you're taking. Yeah, I hear you, Jesse. I'm going to definitely take what you say and talk to her about it and uh, put that into action. Why do I you want, like why do you love her more than you love what's right? I don't, I don't feel like I love her more than I love what's right. But why are you I struggling like then? It's, it's just because I have like a, like, you know, an internal battle with myself. Like I've been living a certain way for so long. Yeah, I understand. And then to, and then to, to completely change. <laughs> I need that, like, uh, it's, it's, it's like a complete 180. I'm, I don't know if I got to take baby steps or, like, really get into that, that mode where I'm like, all right, you got to get the f*** out of here. I'm trying to figure out how to be a good man. Millennium. And, <laughs> so, listen, <laughs> you take one step at a time. You know, when you see you're wrong, you take that step. Make it right. When you see you're wrong, make the next step. You see one step at a time. Now you see that it's wrong to be having sex out of wedlock, to be living with a woman not married. Now you got to take that first step. You got to go and do it right. You got to make it right by having her get her own place. You got to still date. If she want to date, if she doesn't, tell her to hit the road, Jack, and don't she come back. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. you uh, you make amazing points. I def that's why I like listening to you, Jesse, because even though I don't agree with you on some things, you bring up great points. So I'll be like, man, <laughs> like I can't even hate. I can't even hate. Yeah, just, that's right. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me ask, yo, are you, that, Jesse. have you forgiven your mother? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't have no grudges against my mother. You told her that? Uh, I don't feel like I need to. Um, have you forgiven her for those little things that she irritate you about? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I feel like everybody's mother's irritating, but I don't hate her. Or hope did did you, I, did you forgive mom. her for irritating you? Yeah, I forgive her for irritating me. Did you tell her that? Did I tell her? No, I didn't. I didn't tell her. You got to tell her. I got to tell her, Mom, I'm sorry. I mean, I forgive you for irritating me? Yes. All right. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm do that just, just to see what happens. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm and don't, there's nothing wrong in doing that. Right. And don't don't be a beta. Go, don't go to, oh, Mom, I love you. I love you. You've been good. Uh, I'm sorry for hating you or I, I forgive you for irritating me. Don't do it that way. Just go and say, you know what? I've been thinking of how you irritate me, irritate me at time. I realize you can't help it, and I'm sorry for holding that against you. Don't ask for forgiveness. Don't tiptoe around it. You got to grow up, man. Yeah, no, no. Like, it's just that how you saying, I don't I don't feel, yeah, of course, my mom's irritating at times, but nothing where I feel like I need to apologize for she needs to, or I need to forgive her for it. You know what I mean? Where do you That's think irritation feel. come from? Irritation comes from just being a person. I mean, everybody's annoying to one person one, one way or another. No, irritation like, comes from anger. I'm not irri irritated. I, I never get irritated at anyone since God took the anger away. So you do have anger. You just don't realize it comes from your mother. You're, you're angry at her at some things she's done while you're growing up. And your father was too weak to protect you from her because your mother played victim. <laughs> she played nice. And you think she's sweet, but she's really not. Why do you think your father can't handle her? That's true. That's very true. <laughs> how, how the hell you know that? <laughs> <laughs> and for, yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. For sure. I'm, 
but that's I just see it as my mom. You know, what I mean, I don't think she's a sweet lady at all. My mom's a tough, it's a tough lady. But yeah. I feel like she's just had to be that way growing up. No, she's that way because she, she's that way because she hate her mother, she hate her father, she hate men. Mm-hmm. That's 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 a that's a strong one. Maybe she does. So you maybe you saying stuff as she doesn't even know it herself. Right. She may not be aware of it, or she may be aware of it, but she won't let you know because she wants you to think your father's a bad guy when it's really her. <laughs> I want you to ask your father why, and just listen to his answer. Don't don't yell at him and say, you know what, Dad, why you don't stand up to Mom? I know that you beta when it comes to dealing with Mother. Why is that? And hear his response. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to take your word on that, and I'm going to ask him I'm gonna see what he says. <laughs> and let me know what he says. <laughs> Yeah, and hey, you know what? I'm gonna definitely go to that men's conference, Jesse. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look that up, and uh, I want to see, I want to hear more stuff. Yes, sir. At, great. That's right. Are you doing my silent prayer? Your silent prayer? No, I'm not. Do, I'm, do, I heard of it. You're on your way. You're really on your way, Kenneth. You're waking up and uh, do the silent prayer dot video, and uh, just start doing the right thing. God doesn't care about what you have done when you realize you're wrong. What he's concerned about bringing you back to perfect peace. That's why he sent Christ, so that you can have perfect peace. You should not be suffering like this on earth. You should not be living that way. And, and you have been convinced to live that way, bringing on all this unnecessary suffering. You should have peace and have a great life. But you're not going to have it going down the road you're taking. Yes, sir. So I hope to see you at the conference, but let me know what happens when you talk to your father and mother. I'll call you back and see if you pick up. I'll definitely, I'm going to talk to, i see my mom tonight, so I'll probably uh, forgive her. I'll, I'm going to see how that comes out. <laughs> you're going to be scared <laughs> because you're afraid to be honest with women, but once you do it, you will never have fear again. All right, well, we'll see. I, I, hope, I mean, I'm, I've, I've never had a, felt a need that I had to forgive her. But, but why you I'm feel? Gonna, why do you feel well, nervous now? Just by saying I'm sorry for ir, uh, the irritation I feel toward you. Sometime now, I realize you can't help it. Why do you feel nervous about saying that to her? Well, it's not that I'm nervous. It's just that I never realized that that irritation came from anger. Yeah. Or that I yeah. just, I just, I just put it away as like, oh, that's just my mom. That's how she is. No. You know, I've, I've never, I never had that feeling where. I need to forgive her for irritating me. It's just like, it's just a part of the nature. Your mother so, needs now, you. But, your mother needs you and your father to be honest with her so she can overcome that father state. She's in a father state. And you guys are afraid to be honest with her at, because she pretends she's nice and she's really not. But she needs you guys to love her by being honest and not hate her. All right, I'm gonna do that, Jesse. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to. Her. I'm gonna I'm gonna really think about that. I'm yeah. gonna listen to to your prayer, and then I'm gonna. My mom, I forgive you for irritating me. <laughs> Let's see how that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and then let the girlfriend know she got to move out. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna think about that one too. <laughs> and I'll let you know how that one goes. All right, Kenneth. I all right, Jesse. Appreciate lot, you, buddy. Man. Great call. Amazing.